for my input values, I'm going to choose 50 for age, 35 for BMI, and yes to smoker. So I'm expecting my insurance costs to be very high. Consider this. You have your data set extracted in a CSV file, and now you want to generate accurate machine learning predictions. Can you do this using Amazon SageMaker Canvas and without writing any code? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the SageMaker service. Click on Canvas in the left menu, then hit Open Canvas. Give it a few minutes for the Canvas to load. In the meantime, I'm going to prepare my data set in Excel. Here, I'm going to create two columns, input and output. For the input column, let's generate random numbers between one and 100 for at least 1,000 rows. For the output column, I'm just going to multiply my input by five, then populate all the rows. Let's save this file as mydata.csv, then head to the S3 console. Here, I'm going to upload my data.csv file that we just created to my test bucket. Next, let's head back to the SageMaker Canvas tab and click on the datasets icon in the left menu. Hit create, choose tabular, then give your dataset a name. For data source, choose S3, then go inside your test bucket and select the mydata.csv file that we just uploaded. Hit create dataset, then click on my models in the left menu. Click on new model, give it a name, then choose predictive analysis for problem type. Hit create, then select the my data dataset. Next, we have to select a column for our model to predict, which is also known as the target column. I'm going to choose output as my target column, then click on quick build. Note that the model type is automatically selected by Amazon SageMaker. Once the model finishes building, you should see an accuracy assigned to your model under model status. Since the relationship between our output and the input columns was simple and linear, our model was able to predict the output 100% of the time. Let's confirm this by clicking on predict, then choose single prediction. Here, let's specify an input value of 10 and check whether our model can predict the correct output value of 50. Let's do one more test and go back to the mydata.csv file and change some output values so that the relationship between the input and the output columns is no longer perfect. I'm going to save this file as mydata2.csv, then upload it to the test bucket. Next, let's build a new version of our model by heading back to the Canvas tab then click on Add Version. Let's create a new tabular dataset and call it MyData2. Then select the MyData2 file that we just uploaded. Select this dataset, choose the output column as the target, then click on Quick Build. As expected, this time, the accuracy of our model is no longer 100%. Let's see if our model can still predict the correct output. Choose single prediction, then enter 10 as input to see if our model can predict the correct value of 50 or not. Now that you understand how predictive analysis works, let's create a brand new model so we can do some predictive analysis on a real world scenario. I'm going to call this model insurance because we'll be calculating yearly insurance premiums based on certain variables defined in this CSV file. Here, the input columns are defined as age, sex, BMI, children, smoker status, and region. And my output column is defined as yearly insurance cost. 
Let's upload this insurance.csv file to our test bucket, then create a brand new data set. Choose the insurance.csv file that we just uploaded, then click on select data set. For the target column, let's choose insurance cost, then click on quick build. Looks like based on our data set, our model can predict a value within plus minus $4,853 of the actual value for insurance costs. Under column impact, you can see that being a smoker has a major impact on the yearly insurance costs. Let's test this model by clicking on predict, then choose single prediction. For my input values, I'm going to choose 50 for age, 35 for BMI, and yes to smoker, so I'm expecting my insurance costs to be very high. Hit update to see your prediction. Finally, when you're done, don't forget to log out so you can stop incurring canvas charges. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why did the data scientist bring Amazon SageMaker to the comedy club?